Welcome to the Martini Mortgage Podcast, episode 120, called Should I Stay or Should I Go? My name is Kevin Martini, and I am a certified mortgage advisor and MLS number 143962 and producing branch manager of the Martini Group at Cardinal Financial Company and MLS number 66247. As a certified mortgage advisor, I do not just originate a loan for the families I serve. I feel it's my obligation, my duty, my responsibility to also manage your mortgage post-close and to get them as close to debt-free as quickly as possible. And I use my unique Martini Mortgage Management Program to do that. There has been a very popular question asked by the families I serve during our mortgage reviews and Also, there's been an influx of calls to the office asking me this. Kevin Martini, should I refinance or should I move? Essentially, they are asking, should I stay or should I go? Hence the title of the Martini Mortgage Podcast. And let's explore this. As a primer, it is very important to highlight that every family I serve as their trusted advisor has unique circumstances and or needs and wants. Towards that end, I must highlight there is not a cookie cutter answer to whether you should refinance or should move. I must share there is also a third option and that is to do nothing. Let me address this question of whether you should refinance or whether you should sell and buy a new home. So let's dig in. I believe to create generational wealth, one must own real estate. After all, we all need to have a roof over our head. Some will own that roof and others will rent that roof. I truly believe one should own that roof if it is right for them. And if it is right for them, the financial benefits and the intangible benefits of home ownership will be bountiful today and in the future too. Today, the level of equity homeowners have is at an all-time high. According to the data from the U.S. Census, just under 40% of owner-occupied homes are owned free and clear, meaning that just under 40% of the people that have an owner-occupied home do not have a mortgage. Let me share this Kevin Martini nugget with you. Every time real estate values increase, a homeowner gets a dollar-for-dollar gain on their home equity. Let me say this again. Every time real estate values increase, a homeowner gets a dollar for dollar gain on their home equity. I recently uh, read a report that shared a little under 18 million residential properties had a ton of equity. Now, what do I think a ton of equity is? Well, let me share they owe 50% or less of the residential property value. Here's the punchline. This home equity gives a homeowner a ton of option and the question whether they should stay or whether they should go needs to be answered. If they stay, should they refinance to a lower rate or a lower term? If they stay, should they unleash some of the equity via cash out refinance to restructure their family debt and lower their monthly outflows? If they stay, are they in the right mortgage product? A lot of questions for a homeowner to consider today if they want to stay. Should they go? Right now, some owners, homeowners have realized that their current house will not meet the needs of their family in the future or worse. They have currently outgrown their home. At a high level, let me share some Kevin Martini thoughts. Let me start with refinancing. Because of the large amount of equity and because of these historic mortgage rates, 
One can refinance a home very easily with the Martini Group at Cardinal Financial Company. In addition, taking money out of the home is not like finding a leprechaun riding a unicorn. It is relatively simple too. According to the data from Freddie Mac, there are over 5 million homeowners that could benefit from just a lower rate. Let me share some of the numbers. Over 450,000 homeowners today have a rate over 6%. About 4.7 million homeowners have a rate north of 4.2%. And at the time of this recording, home loan rates were starting with a three. All these 5 million plus homeowners could benefit. Yes, there are pros and cons to refinancing, but a guaranteed con is not exploring your options. I believe with all of my heart, the current mortgage rate environment is not going to be here forever. And I do not know if the economics work for you and your family, but I do know this. It is wrong not to educate yourself on the refinance options that are available to you and your family today. For some of the families I serve, it makes sense. And for a few, it does not. Friend, it is worth your time to reach out to a certified mortgage advisor so they can understand your goals, your needs and wants and put the pencil to the paper to look at the numbers. Know I'm here to help and I invite you to give me a call at 919-238-4934. Let me shift gears to moving. As I shared earlier, some know that their house will not meet their family's needs in the future. This could mean upgrading or this could mean downsizing. Oh, by the way, Downsizing does not mean downgrading. And then there are some families that love the home that they're in, but sadly, they have just outgrown it. Let me share a bold statement. If your current house does not meet your current needs, if your current house will likely not meet your future needs, there may never be a better time to take action than right now. Now the elephant in the room is inventory. Listen, there are homes being purchased every day by the families I serve and some of the families I work with are buying first and then selling. Could you be one of them that buys first and then sells? I, I, I do not know, but I do know you need to explore all the options and follow the formula for success, which is loan first and then go find your home. You see, in any market, especially in a competitive market like we are in today, it is important to follow a proven franchise strategy to buying a home. The first step starts with getting price and cost clarity on your new home so you can search with certainty. Armed with an approval, not a qualification, from a trusted local lender or certified mortgage advisor. Then the next step is to be paired with a seasoned and experienced real estate pro. The process of buying a home cannot be done via the web or by searching out open houses. You and your family deserve a professional team to help. Let me share this example for illustration only. Many experts believe the height of the market was 2006. The median priced home in 2006 was $216,000. If you put 10% down and took a mortgage out for $194,400, at the prevailing interest rate in 2006 was a 6.41%, 
the principal and interest payment would have been $1,217. Now, according to the National Association of Realtors, over the past 15 years, a typical home has appreciated $150,000. This would mean that $216,000 home you purchased in 2006 would be worth $366,000 today. If you sold that home after selling expenses, you would have $130,000. One could take that equity of $130,000 and use it as a down payment on a $450,000 home. Let's assume a 3% rate on a 30-year fix for illustration, and that would mean a higher principal and interest payment it would be $1,349 or $132 a month. But you would have an $80,000 home more in value, which might mean a larger home or a different neighborhood for just $132. Decisions on whether you should refinance or whether you should move cannot be fully answered by listening to a podcast. I believe there is never a substitute for education and I invite you to reach out to myself or my business partner, Logan Martini, so we can understand your goals and develop a plan for you and your family. Yes, the consultation is absolutely free, but it will be packed with priceless information that you can decide to take action or not with. Whether you're refinancing your house or moving to a new home, your current mortgage rate and your level of equity are crucial in your decision-making process. Look at your mortgage documents, find out what your interest rate is, and then let's connect to determine the potential equity in your home. You may be surprised by the opportunities you have. You may have questions about what you have heard in this episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast, and that is awesome. I am here to help, and I invite you to call me directly, 919-238-4934, because I believe, again, there is never a substitute for being an educated consumer. My name is Kevin Martini, and I am a certified mortgage advisor and branch manager of the Martini Group at Cardinal Financial Company, which is located in Raleigh, North Carolina. However, we help families all over the U.S. We provide the families we serve with trusted advice with a frictionless digital mortgage process that provides certainty. Thank you for listening and please share this episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast with someone you care about, And thank you in advance for leaving a five-star review. Now it's time for the disclosure. This material has been prepared for marketing purposes only. This is not a loan commitment or guarantee of any kind. Loan approval and rates are depending upon borrower's credit, collateral, financial history, and program availability at time of origination. Rates and terms are subject to change without notice. Corporate address 3701 Arco Corporate Drive, Suite 200, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28273. Cardinal Financial Company Limited Partnership, doing business as NMLS ID 66247. For a full list of licensing information, visit https colon double slash cardinalfinancial.com slash licensing equal housing opportunity lender. For more information about myself, Kevin Martini, and the Martini Group at Cardinal Financial, visit www.martinimortgage.com or call. 919-238-4934.